Yeah. Many years know any person he's seen, he would sneer. No matter if you knew them or not, no one was safe friend Mikey. Mikey was always the crack on the night out. He always had everyone in tears laughing over something sm so small. He would always find a way to put a smile on everyone's face. Like the time he showed everyone his famous Heiser Gee tattoo he got on holidays and bragged about it for months, just like your famous mullet hairstyle. From all the times you taught your Brian O'Donovan from RTE, I think we all know who did it best. And all the time sitting in the pub, he would always get up and do him and Paige's dance. It always had everyone in tears, and we all know the love Mikey had for his hot sauce and ham. All the times we went back to his house after a night out and made ham and cheese toasties, and believe me, they were better something than Gordon Ramsay would pull out of it. The time that me and Mikey had together was not long enough, but I always knew from the first day I met him he was going to be the one. And I'm beyond grateful for a short amount of time I got to spend with him. And I'm so glad I met such a lovely, beautiful boy like him, and your beautiful smile that would light up any room. Like he always knew how to put me in the best of form, even though all he did was sneer me 24-7. He was the most caring boy I ever met and was always there for me no matter what. I'll always remember the many, many nights out with Mikey when he went around carrying my handbag to make sure I didn't lose it. And I know he looked better wearing it than what I did. Every time Mikey stayed in my house, he always wore my pyjamas and fluffy socks and would always hide it from the boys because you all know the big lad that Mikey was. He'd always say, I can't be soft around the boys, Brianna. The time he met my baby sister Clara, she cried because she started barking at her. But over the last few months, she got so comfortable around you, and so did Erin. Mikey had such a huge impact on my family's life, and they treated you like you were one of their own. As many as know, Mikey and PJ were like two peas in a pod. You never see one without the other, and at least now they're reunited again. And they're as bad as each other for sneering anyone, so at least now they can get back to doing what they do best. <laughs> Mikey was raised by such a loving, caring family, and I'm so glad I got to be a part of and treated like family for the time I got to spend with Mikey. He was such a good brother to Buki, PJ, Millie, Rachel and Madison, even though all he did was sneer at them, but he would always do anything for them no matter what it was. Mikey had such an amazing bunch of friends, which really did suit Mikey. The last few months has made us all realise how important it is to talk about your problems, no matter how big or small they are, because it really could make that much of a difference. Everyone has such good memories of Mikey, which everyone will cherish forever. I wasn't prepared to have to say goodbye so soon, and never will be. Life isn't a fair game, and it's such a cruel world. Mikey truly was one of a kind, and always will be. But, but, but goodbye for now, Mikey. I love you forever and always. Keep on dancing up there with PJ. Until we meet again, my darling, from your bravery and all your family and friends, we love you.
circle and wonderful circle of friends especially this generation of young people trusting the God's grace is with mighty and all of you in the name of the Trinity the Father the Son of the Holy Spirit in Someday I'll be 
bringing <clears throat> to mind each one of us present within the church respecting those who have assembled on our church grounds if they wish to enter there are some seats still available to my left Acknowledging each one of us present, those who have assembled on our church grounds, I acknowledge especially those who are joining with us through our webcam. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <clears throat> In the presence of Father Anselm, and on my own behalf, At this noontime, I welcome all of you to this church. In the spirit of that word, welcome. It is probably a word that you heard similarly expressed just 13 weeks ago to pray for the late PJ, his family and his friends. Today, amidst all our emotions, we are present again to share, to pray, to remember, and bring comfort in Jesus' name as we share this liturgy for your loved one, your family member, your friend, Mikey. In a little while, I will read a gospel that will echo the word greetings. And in the spirit, that word, and as we share this liturgy, 
May we trust very simply wherever we are with our faith, wherever we are with God, wherever we are with all our emotions. We trust that Jesus will greet Mikey with the same word. And I trust and believe that Mikey and PJ have greeted each other similarly. In the words we will hear echoed in our second reading, God will bring Mikey with him home to heaven. And may the psalm that will be sung be not afraid. Enable all of us to hear Jesus' word greetings very simply for peace in our lives, especially for his heartbroken parents, Patrice and Michael. Stepfather Damien, brother, respecting your Christian name, Connor, known to all as Buki, his sisters, Millie, Madison and Rachel, grandparents Dodo, Mary and Pat, great-grandmother Bella, cousin Ryan, girlfriend Brianna, to the wider family circle, aunts and uncles, cousins, extended family members, and especially to all you young people, his truly wonderful circle of young people as his friends. We just pause for a moment to embrace the quietness of this sacred space, this church, the beauty of this day in this Easter season, that the stillness and quietness may be bestowed upon all of us, that your loved one, Mikey, embraces the beauty and peace of heaven with PJ. In a simple but symbolic way, and just before I'll invite those who are going to bring forward the symbols to stay as you are and proceed to the back of the main, to the main entrance of this church in a little while, but just to acknowledge the following symbols that will be brought forward reflecting Mikey's life. The first Symbols are as follows. The modern means of communicating in our world of today is the presentation of his phone. Secondly, I trust that they have been cleaned. Will be his work boots and Wellingtons. Thirdly, will be to always look well, to be spruced up, his aftershave. Photograph 
of the two of them together on dessert. Mikey and PJ. Wherever Mikey was, his hat was always with him, his cap. A chain that he wore, and finally, a photograph, Mikey himself. And I invite Connell, Oshin Dara, Matthew, Josh, AJ, Rachel, and Gussie to bring forward his symbols. Okay. We pray. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, your wisdom governs the length of our days. We mourn the untimely loss of Mikey, whose life has passed so quickly, and we entrust him to your gentleness. Welcome Mikey into your heavenly dwelling and grant him the happiness of everlasting youth. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We now come to the liturgy of the Word, and I'll invite Adele and Rachel to come forward. Adele and Nula. First reading, a reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Say this to Aaron and his people, this is how you are to bless the people of Israel. You shall say to them, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. This is how they are to call down my name on the people of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander You shall see the face of God. 
from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain about those who have died, to make sure you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him, with such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand to greet the gospel in song. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there coming to meet them was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him. And falling down before him. Clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them. Do not be afraid. Go and tell my people that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. The good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'll invite you just to be seated for a moment. May the Lord keep you. Be gracious to you. And bless you with peace. The words of our opening reading. Respecting all our wishes for Mikey, 
and his family and circle of friends. As Mikey watches down from above, let us believe and hope that he has experienced those sentiments as expressed in the words I have just echoed and we heard in our opening reading that he is experiencing them from none other than the gentle God in heaven. You may not believe, but Mikey and God have something in common. As I have heard in recent days about the good man himself, Mikey. God and Mikey both have big hearts. We trust very simply that God's big heart will take care of Mikey. On Saturday morning, while in the family home, I observed a photograph that was displayed in the home. The same photograph that has been brought forward in the presentation of the symbols. It is a photograph that captures Mikey full of laughter and fun. A charisma that reflects his big heart that he had for his family and his friends, his generation, his peers. It is a photograph that captures the good nature of the man himself. Yet, let us not hide in light of our presence on this afternoon. I, and I'm sure all of us, can't fully understand why we are present and journeying in this experience. Will we ever fully understand or know? All I can offer you humbly
by each other's presence and sharing this liturgy. Let us, with time, adjust our lives. In adjusting our lives, may Mikey's spirit live on in each of us. And enabling his spirit to live on in each of us. For one who personally knows what it is to lose a brother. As I do regularly, every day, I talk to my late brother Colum, to his family. And to you, as young people, his friends, talk to Mikey. Talk and share with each other. Don't bottle it within. Let it out. As the caption says, it is good to talk. Mikey and PJ were inseparable on this earth, captured in the first photograph presented. We trust that they are taking care of each other with God. And today we remember how Mikey's spirit lives on on this earth. To remember those who have a new life. Three people, through the donation of Mikey's organs, we trust, as they are privileged to live life with a new step in their lives. In this Easter week, one can catch the spirit of this week in the dress of nature, new flowers, new birds, new lambs, the brightness of this day. May we catch the joy of Easter, respecting all our emotions, in light of what Jesus says in the Gospel that we will greet each other not alone in the word greetings, but express that same spirit with a good word, a gentle hug, a presence, a warmness, enabling us not to be afraid but bringing assurance and peace to the lives of each other. 
Jesus in the gospel takes the initiative in complimenting. Jesus makes the first move. Their coming to meet them was Jesus. Greetings, he said. We trust today. Their coming to meet Jesus is Mikey. And we trust very simply that he has heard Jesus' word greetings. Mikey, may you rest in peace and drive easily with your tractor to heaven. May he rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now come to the prayers of intercessions, and I'll invite those who are going to lead us to come forward. As they have come forward, I'll invite us all to stand with them. God, our gentle Father, you invite us to trust in you always. And in this time of our need, may we embrace that trust as we now come to you in prayer. We pray for Mikey's life among us, which has ended so suddenly. We commend him to God's love and compassion in the peace of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for his family and friends who are heartbroken. Comfort them in their grief and strengthen them to continue life with renewed hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray and give thanks as Mikey's organs have given new life and hope to others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us remember, Lady of our Lord's Hospital, the emergency service, kind neighbours and friends who has supported Mikey and the family during this time of need. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Mikey was always respected and loved by many. We give thanks for his goodness to others, and in that spirit, may we always help each other. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that God will grant peace to all who have died, remembering PJ, and as, we are toge as they were together on this earth, may they rest together in the arms of God in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Trusting as we offer these prayers, the prayers and the silence of our hearts. We bring to mind also those who are suffering in our world at this time, and especially in light of the Ukraine crisis. We embrace that peace may prevail within all our hearts and our world as we embrace Our Lady Queen of Peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and this is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus, we trust in your power to heal and comfort us and to embrace for all of us your saving grace through this Easter season in the gift of your resurrection as we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. I'll invite you to be seated and in being seated. <clears throat> 
We now come to the liturgy of the Eucharist. We'll have our offertory hymn and Mary and Pat will bring forward the bread and wine to be offered in our Mass. We pray the liturgy of the Eucharist and where appropriately I invite us to kneel as we continue in prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for it is the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We pray as brothers and sisters in Christ that our Eucharist may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, the offerings of your people, that under your protective care we may never lose what we have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, this Easter time, above all, to, to laud ye yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By thine, Jesus has destroyed our debt, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we kindly pray together. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, praying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, praying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men and women for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In prayer, the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your people spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love, together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, clergy, religious, deacons, and all who minister and serve within our parish and community, bringing to mind each one of us present and all who unite with us through our webcam. Remember today our loved one, Mikey whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a debt like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, remembering also PJ. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, we bless her Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Uniting us all as one, where appropriately we kindly stand, and as we do, we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our lives that by the help of your love we may be always free from sin and safe from daily worry as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Trusting in the spirit of God's peace, we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. And for a moment in silence, let us trust in that peace for all our hearts, for our loved one, and for our world. We pray. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. I'll invite us to kneel. <laughs> Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Prince of Peace, who is risen who comforts us in our time of need and grants that gift of resurrection to our loved one. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
May the body and blood of Christ bring us peace forever and ever. Oh,
Should give the young man a little round of applause there. <laughs> I'd invite Patrice to come forward. Stand here again today is shocking. 
I'd have to speak of another son who just couldn't stay on this earth. I can't put into words how devastated we are over losing Mikey. Our beautiful boy, our firstborn that made his parents. Mikey was our first of everything. He was the most cutest, cuddliest baby ever. As a toddler, Mikey was so placid and bubbly. His little hearty laugh that he never lost into adult life you would hear all over the place. Mikey would love walking around with his pretend cattle stick shouting up, up, up for moving cattle. I'd nearly swear they were his first words. We wouldn't have many stories of Mikey on his own as PJ came along shortly after. It was like having twins, they were joined at hip. Most stories would be about our two boys or our two peas in a pod. And then Buki came along, they became our three musketeers. They weren't that impressed when all the pink stuff started showing up in the house on the arrival of Millie. <laughs> when we stayed with Mikey, giving him the love and support he needed, we recalled the lads being small and talking about everything they loved, especially being on the farm. And every game that they played, it was all about farming. Driving tractors, even to every toy, had to relate to farming. They would love going into Granny Dodo as she would spoil them something rotten. They wouldn't have to do a thing for themselves. Even to having to put on, putting on their stocks on a winter's day, she would heat them up in the cooker. They would lie back either side of the cooker with the feet resting on the bar of it, waiting on Dodo to put on their stocks, and she would put them on for them. I think she stopped doing this when they hit their teens. Mikey loved making plans with Grandy Yankee for spins in the lorry, even to phone in Nana Mary to see where they would go over the weekend. At one stage, he nearly moved in with Mammy, all because she made him breakfast in bed. I would often ask Mikey about college, having himself and PJ to go together. He'd say to me, Mother, no man needs an education to work outside. Mikey started walking weekends when he was about 13. Doing an odd Saturday, he, he loved it all because he got to drive dump trucks. All thanks to Granny Dodo, who learned him how to drive. In the last week or two, Mikey started making plans. The first since Peach is passing. He worked at the concrete with his daddy and working on the farm. He spoke of going for his digger license to be able to do the digger work for his dad. Mikey loved anything that had an engine that made a sound and was drivable. He was even to start a new job on Tuesday, gone with farm relief. Then he even spoke about going to get his visa to travel with Ryan to Australia at the end of the year. Mikey spoke recently of organising a tractor run, hopefully, hopefully in the summer, with one of our neighbours in Page's name. We were even all to do the walk in to light in Page's name. Our community was coming together to do it with us. Now it'll be in both names. How I would love to turn back the clocks to Christmas Day, where my house was full of laughter and life. It was much easier. Like PJ, Mikey has a huge circle of friends and brilliant friends at that. The support and love they have shown us in the last 13 weeks and now is outstanding. And I will say it again. Please, please talk to anyone. Reach out to others. Come to me. My door will be always open. Just know you are beautiful and you are loved and you are needed. Mikey's pain for Peter was too great for him to stay. To be born just 13 months apart and to die 13 weeks apart showed how much he was lost with his best friend and his brother. He came to me Sunday night and spoke about counselling. He was ready. And Mammy, you know I love you, he said. He spent all Monday working in the fields fencing with his dad. Met him with his friends and come home but his calling to go to Pija was massive. I don't think we could have kept him here. 
and the guilt of not getting a chance to save him is so heavy. My two boys had a brotherly love and bond no one could break. I am so proud to call Mikey my son, the fine man he turned into, well-mannered, polite, and very respectful to other, others. His smile was infectious, he'd smile instantly back at him. I've heard many great stories and seen many great videos of our two bucks being the heart and souls of all the get-togethers. I stayed right with Mikey, sorry, I stayed with Mikey right up to his last minute. I got into the bed beside him and spent the night holding his hand, gently touching his beautiful face, with his dark eyebrows perfectly shaped and his lovely long eyelashes that all the girls are jealous of. <laughs> and just talking to him. I actually had a wee giggle at the thought of Mikey going mad. With me being right in beside him and right up beside him, he wouldn't even let me sit in his bed at home. My little conversation I had with him, I said, Mikey, you know you fought a long 13 weeks without Peter. Go to him, he's waiting on you. And I love you so much. Our boy became a superhero that night as he changed three families' lives and he didn't need a cape. Mikey was a perfect son, a top dog of an older brother to Millie, Buki and Madison and a younger brother to Rachel. A most loyal, big-hearted friend, a friend that would have your back no, all, no matter what. Mikey's death has been a massive shock and disbelief throughout her community and father afield. I've seen it firsthand in the last few days. Young and old could not hold the tears back. It broke my heart to see the pain everyone is carrying, not just ourselves. I will miss seeing Mikey's face or hearing his voice. I will miss his conversations about everyday life or the crack he had of the weekend with his friends. His quirky sense of dress code, no matter what Mikey wore, the wellies were on him to even the disco. Someone called him the wellies Mattis, and he never left home without Atty's peaky cap. Young and old commented on how they would pass him regularly out walking on the roads, the big smile and the big wave he would give. I will miss the 1 a.m. call from the bedroom. Mother, switch on the toasty machine and make me a cheese toasty. And of course I'll go running for my boy. We as a family will miss him, everything about him, and miss what he could have become. We will never be the same again. I would give my life to have Mikey back. I know you would, said my son. I cry each night for you, and I catch all my tears, said my son. I pray for that day I can see you again. Close your eyes and you can see me, said my son. You are the first person who loved me. And you are the first person I loved. You were always there when I needed you. And you were always, always new when I needed a hug. I am here for you now, Mammy, in your heart and in your soul. I did not take your heart with me. Instead, I left mine with you to hold. One day I will take your hand and lead you to paradise, said my son. Until then, when you want to see me, you need to close your eyes, my mother, said my son. As I said to your brother, we won't say goodbye, Mikey. It's until we meet again, our little Mikey on the bikey. In that spirit, thanks, Patrice. We stand for our prayer after communion. <clears throat> God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the needs of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for Mikey, 
and grant him the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our appreciation and thanks to all who participated in this liturgy. From Mikey, presentation of the symbols, the readings and prayers of intercessions, the offer to procession, to the assistance of the ministers of the Eucharist, to the sacristan of the church, to the dignity of our funeral directors. We trust that the spirit, this liturgy in memory of Mikey, will be a source of comfort and strength to one and all, none more so than his parents, siblings, and extended family circle and friends. On behalf of Father Anson, on my own behalf, to extend to his entire family circle and to all the young people, his peers, that God's peace is with all of you, to humbly assure you of prayer. We pray. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of Mikey. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Although we will leave this church in sadness, the gentleness of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let's console one another in the faith of Jesus. As Father Anselm will bless his remains, reminding all of us to walk with God through our baptism, the ritual of the incense, trusting that all our prayers will enable Michael, Mikey to arrive safely home to heaven as the response to our prayers of petition is, receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Response. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the palm of Abraham. Response. Eternal rest grant to Mikey, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Response. Prayer of commendation. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Mikey. In the sight of our world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. And in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace through Christ our Lord. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. This Easter season, Jesus says, I am the resurrection. Whoever lives and believes in me will have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. In peace, as we stand for the final processional hymn, we take Mikey to his place of rest in Stabana. dream. 
Ah, we'll check another man of mine. Another wee vessel. I'll launch in here. I want to carry him in the graveyard. Now, here, Mark, you can come in here now if you want. Hold on. As we come to the resting place for Mikey, we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. We pray for his family circle and friends. For all who mourn for him. That one day they will be reunited again. Together may we meet Christ Jesus. Here as our life appears in glory. Prayer of blessing over his resting place. O God, by his mercy the faithful departed find rest. Bless this grave and send your holy angel to watch over it. As we bury here the body of Mikey. Deliver his soul that he may rejoice in you and with your saints forever in heaven through the father the son and of the holy spirit amen
because God has chosen to call Mikey from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth, for we are thus, and unto thus we shall return. May the Lord bless him and keep him. May the Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. May the Lord lift up his countenance and give him peace. Let us pray to God, the source of all mercies, as we offer these prayers of petitions. You raise the dead to life. Give to Mikey eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, you console Martha and Mary of their distress. Draw near to all who mourn for him. Lord, hear us. Comfort us in our sorrow that his death may our feet be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are laid to rest within this cemetery and especially remembering within this grave, bringing to mind the memory of PJ. May their joy be increased once again in the peace of heaven. May the light of glory shine on them and may they rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Loving God, from whom our life proceeds and by his hand the dead are raised again. Accept the prayers we offer in sadness for Mikey. Deliver his soul from death. Number him among your saints. And clothe him with the robe of salvation to enjoy forever the delights of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. We pray for God's blessing. Gentle Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You attend to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people of credit in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we offer the final decade of the glorious mysteries, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May the prayers of Mary, the mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, have those who mourn for Mikey and accompany all of us in our time of need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest go unto Mikey, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul, the souls of all the faith of the power to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.